everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome back to another episode of Cool Craft Season 3. Now, it's been a while, I know. I know. I have no good reason other than I just, I just was kind of bored with the, with Minecraft for a little while, so I went to play other things. I also just kind of, um... I don't have that much else to do in this season, really. Like, I built up the base, and I know I do have other farms that I kind of do want to make, but I don't really have motivation for that. And not many people play, even Super Tyler Man has kind of just stopped playing on the survival server, at least that much recently. But I do have something that we are going to be doing today. Interesting that the resist, that the regen is going. Okay, there it is. I think that was just transitioning to level one. Anyhow, so today in this episode, I've got a brand, I have designed a brand new farm and I will and um yeah let's right now head into a time lapse of me preparing the area maybe even building the farm and it, I guess in the time lapse I'll explain what's going on Okay guys, and the wither killing device is finished! Well the construction is. So now I actually have to stock the AFK room up here with soul sand, because obviously that's what this runs on. Well that and wither skulls, but those theoretically are going to be placed in by the user every time they need to use the machines. That's the primary cutoff method, method that I have built in for this machine, and I guess I'll just leave this shulker box full of excess um, soul sand here. Also, they do kind of have to turn on the circuit here. I just allowed them to turn it off because I guess it's useful. But yeah, um, yeah, the circuit or this the this automatic farm does stop whenever you uh, when it runs out when one of these droppers here runs out of skulls. I really should have also made it stop if you uh, run out of soul sand, but that was a little bit beyond my uh, my what I was thinking about at the time. But um, yeah, before we actually start using this, there is one more thing that I have to do. So, you may be wondering why we are now at the world spawn here. And, well, this kind of has to go back a bit of a ways to why the spawn looks like it does right now. So, a few episodes back, you may remember, I came over to world spawn here. I guess this was, like, in, like, three months ago, though, so. Um, came over to world spawn here, um, and dug into this mountain and built up this um, thing here because it was getting a little bit blown up and stuff and the portal kept getting destroyed and then shortly afterwards the portal got destroyed again and then again <laughs> um and yeah and then a lot of the stuff I built around the edge here got destroyed and we couldn't figure out why I was thinking hey, is it like one of the data packs that we have on here or something and I also noticed that, like, the stone bricks and stuff here, the doors, the obsidian itself wasn't getting destroyed, but the torches, the wood, the pressure plates for some reason were getting destroyed. And I was still confused. I was like, is there just like a gas fire or gas fireball spawning here from one of the data packs or something? Um, and so I just kind of forgot about doing anything here at the spawn because I was like, something's happening, I don't know what. And that all leads me to something that happened fairly recently. So, I was designing my wither killing farm in creative mode because I had, there was this other server that is related to my school that I was playing on, and I had just built a with, uh, wither skull farm there, and I wanted to farm withers, but you know, I'm lazy, so I wanted to build something to do it automatically for me. 
So I built the farm that I just built here on Coolcraft on that server. And then it was like, oh cool. And then it was like, oh cool, fun. I farmed like four stacks of withers there. And then I decided to go check out the world spawn on that world. And when I first went through the portal for spawn, um, I was relocated to a cave, which I thought was weird. So then I went to another portal, which was near-ish by, but was all actually kind of far away. And when I got back to the spawn chunks, I saw a ton of wither skulls just traveling off into the distance once I loaded the chunk they were in. And then I got to spawn, and it was utter utterly destroyed. An editor put up a screenshot on screen right now about what it looked like. And so I realized, so wither skulls travel through the end portal now. In the past, that didn't happen, because in season 2 of Coolcraft, um, we had... I farmed plenty of withers in the portal, and the spawn never got blown up. But on this server, and that other server, it did, it has made a difference. And then I went and tested in creative mode, and that is indeed what's happening. So, ugh, that's annoying. But, as I've seen here, they can't blow up stone bricks. So, time to build something out of stone bricks that can resist the explosions of these skulls. Okay, so the solution to our problems is this ugly cobbles, not cobbles, stone brick box right here. So as we know, this netherite block here represents the world spawn point. And so skulls will spawn here and they'll fly in almost all directions, I think apart from directly up, and even if it is directly up, doesn't matter, and they'll eventually run into one of these walls and explode without damaging anything. Now, however, this hole in the roof here is key, because wither skulls, or anything that travels to the end portal, will spawn, well, at, if it's a player at the last spawn point, or any other entity, will spawn at the world spawn point on the lowest possible, or at the highest possible block that exists. So in order to contain it, we have to have this hole in the roof here. Now, I could place a torch there, but that will, that will eventually get destroyed. And obviously, it is possible for a player to spawn here, so we have this way out. So now that that's taken care of, I can actually restore the world spawn here to its former glory as of the episode that I created it. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna go get some materials, and then I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I have rest restored spawn and added a little bit of extra detail here. Got like a pile of wood there, got some barrels just sitting in the corner there. And yeah, this place now looks nice again. We got the bed, which means I have to replace a bed for my ender chest again. A crafting table, which is somewhere there. I don't remember where the crafting table was originally. But also, pressure plates for the doors again, so we don't just have to prop this door open anymore. You can just leave. And you know, that's great. And so, I will soon go use, um, go use the wither killing device that we have built the first time on the server to get a few stacks of nether stars so I can finally restock that fountain at my base and also just kind of stock up on nether stars and beacons. And yeah, I guess I'll be, I will probably end up AFK for hours, but while we are at spawn here, might as well do some other spawn related things like just kind of check out what's been going on with the shops recently. Also, there's a new roller coaster here, the spawn coaster. I guess we can go ride that in a moment. But first of all, let's go check profits. All right, so. I've gotten 25 diamonds from my shops here, well specifically the books and the rockets. I still have not sold anything at the food stand. So I guess that was kind of a waste of time, but whatever, it's there. Then next season we'll set up, we'll see if we want to set up a food stand earlier, if we want to have to buy food for someone else. Because I'm going to try to buy more stuff next season, get, get rich early, hopefully other people buy, actually set up shops so I can buy things early. Because I have some strategies, and hopefully we'll, and... Anyhow, there's a couple new shops over here. So this shop over here, I believe, has been revamped into a nether shop. So we got in stock. Oh, okay. Rare. Golden apples. Okay, golden apples. Quartz blocks. That's quite useless. Ne Make this the actual nether quartz item, please. Um, t uh, nether bricks. Uh, out of stock. Bones. I'm pretty sure. I feel like he stole those from me. I don't know why. I just feel like he stole those from me. Uh. I have a farm that produces that stuff. Um, crim Crimsmond stem. I don't know what Crimsmond stem is, but <laughs> Crimsmond 
Crimsmond. Yeah, what the frick is Crimsmond? <laughs> yeah, uh, warped stem. Uh, coming soon and coming soon and eh, nothing. Yet. All right. And then this top here seems to be themed to the end, although it looks like he's birch instead of uh, endstone. That's a little bit of a sad thing there. Alright, I uh, got purple, endstone. He has endstone. Also, I'll go to the end and mine the stuff myself. Uh, ender chests. Three diamonds per ender chest. How many ender chests do I have? Well, I can't hurt to have more, so what's this? Three diamonds per? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three. I'll gladly sacrifice my profit for a few more ender chests. Anyhow, what's next here? Uh, end brick. Not in stock. Ender pearl. I have too many of those. S. Here's like he's out of stock of S. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that seems to be all that's really popped up in the shopping district for the most part since I was last here. Although, also, I believe Jared Cool's wood shop over here is kind of out of stock of everything. No, it's, it's not out of stock. Most things are in stock. What are you talking about? There are a few diamonds over here that he has. Whatever. Anyhow. Alright, now for the spawn coaster. It takes about a minute, so expect this clip to be a decent length. So, place my cart and go down. The Why does he have that blinking rails over there if I have to go this way? Okay. And here we go. Wee, wee, oh, wee, wee. Oh gosh. Woo. And now to skip the lift hill. Wee. Yeah, that, that's weak. Whoa. Weird downwards S bend we got there. Wee. Right next to the beacons. Hey, look at that. You got a nice view of spawn from up here. That's the extent of my design skills, by the way. Wee. Oh, this stuff was pretty high. I'm surprised that actually, my card actually has enough momentum to make it up here. Do 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 whoa, whoa. okay. And then around the giant firework. Dun 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 wood. Still going up and down whoa. I don't know why there's a second power uh, detector rail there. That seems kind of weird to me. Wee, it's nighttime. Oh no. I, hope, I think this is the end here. Wee. Ooh. Oh, we're going slow. Whoa. Okay. Alright, and that's that coaster. <coughs> Alright, so I just came back from AFK overnight, and there's a ton of Endermen around here. I should spawn proof this area as the rest of the main island here is spawn proofed. So that's kind of important. Also, we went through almost all of the soul sand here, which is a good sign. As I was thinking that I almost exactly made the capacity of this thing the same as the capacity for wither skulls, which is pretty neat. So if we look in here, we have nine stacks of nether stars. Nice. Let's see, can I get out of here? Yes, I can. All right. So, let's go back and. Um. Hmm. This seems kind of sinister. Hmm. Could have done this. Hmm. <laughs> Oh gosh, this stuff just keeps going. Well, there's no rails out here. That's interesting. But jeez, this stuff just keeps going. You know, I can't help but feel that there might be a reason why this happened. Hmm. I wonder. And there's more. 
Oh my gosh, there's so many of these things. Holy crap. Uh, I think it was, yeah, here's where I stored, like, all of them. Interestingly enough, there's nothing on the second layer here. Hmm. Alright, so I think I've cleaned up everything. However, I'm missing one rail from a complete stack. Which concerns me. I also, um, it's also not a complete stack of banners, but that's, I guess, whatever, but I'm missing a rail. That is very, very concerning that I missed one. That's probably gonna bug me. But, anyhow, uh, back to the nether stars, I guess. Alright, so, I've crafted up three stacks of beacons, and I have a whole bunch of other, um, stacks of nether stars here, and the culprit has come online. Um, but, uh, so we're just gonna shove these beacons and most of these nether stars into the storage system. But for the rest, I'm gonna go reactivate that little fountain that I have. If you remember, uh, I don't remember when. It was around October, uh, end of September, beginning of October, I remember. I built this little fountain down here which was solely designed to, um, just, uh, do this. So give it a second. Do this, yeah. It was solely designed just to do this. <laughs> um, but I haven't stocked it in ages because I couldn't be bothered to go and kill like a stack of withers because these things kept despawning because I was AFKing and I was AFKing close enough to this, uh, to my base here where the where this was loaded in lazy chunks. So the entities themselves weren't processing, so they wouldn't get put back around into the hoppers, but they would still despawn, and the redstone would still run, which is kind of annoying, and specifically, the kelp farm over this way is actually far enough away for that to happen, so I just couldn't be bothered to AFK, but yeah, now that I uh, couldn't just, just couldn't be bothered to let this thing exist, but now that I have, a whole bunch of nether stars, a really easy way to get them, we got this. So anyway, yeah, let's go check so out spawn now. How is it rank, buddy? I don't, I don't know what, how I was the prank. Bruh, I just really recorded that 12 hours ago. I'm recording right now, and... Mm -hmm. You clean that up so fast. I don't know what was so hard about it. <laughs> Alright guys, so... It would appear that it's raining right now, so let me go fix that. But uh, besides that, it would appear that spawn is 100% intact right now. So, that's great. Means I did actually a good job with protecting this place from potential explorations. And if we come inside here, we'll see that absolutely nothing has changed. <laughs> Go figure. Yay! Yeah, so... Yeah, that means that, th that this definitely wasn't a success, and Spawn won't look horrible anymore. And next season, we'll be able to, um... Yeah, next season, we'll hopefully never get our Spawn destroyed like that. <laughs> or maybe I'll intentionally do that. I don't know. Find my coaster. Yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> but anyway guys, I'm gonna say that that's about all I have time for today and all I can come up with really as well. Um, but I just want to say that quickly before I go here, the, uh, the, the this season is, is, you know, coming to a close as I may have hinted at and we're, you know, preparing for the next season, although we're planning to start when 1.17 comes out, so, um, hopefully that will be a thing. <laughs> I mean, hopefully 1.17 will be a thing soon at least. But anyhow guys... Besides that, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the Discord linked in the description. And I will see you all in the next episode of Coolcraft Season 3. Bye!